الهدف الاول انه اتخطى بي وما كنت كنت رافض انه اشتغل بهالمهنه اللي هي مهنه النحت والعمار، انا المفروض اعمل شيء ثاني. هيك كان طموحي انه اعمل شيء ثاني، شيء غير. آه ما ضروري يكون احسن، يمكن شيء المهم يكون مختلف، ما بدي يكون عم بكرر بي. لما اشتغلت مع الوالد حسيت النحت كثير صعب وقاسي لانه I loved this intimate meditation on what it means to be an artist from the perspective of these these gents who are extremely successful in their field and seeing what's at play from the generational divide to the ego, to the desire for success, to pure passion and the dedication and work that needs to be put in to be an artist. And sometimes it's outside influences that push us in directions we never expected when you have to make a living doing your art, but then how the influence of art and inspiration can find a lovely marriage in that. And it was so wonderful to get to see the architecture and the sculptures and and how their artist journey has manifested. And uh, it was really stunning. I appreciated the, the honesty and the frankness which what they spoke and just welcoming us in to the many twists and turns of their artist journey. This was a really interesting piece of work to watch. Um, it starts with uh, such an interesting question and an interesting concept, and the two uh, people interviewed uh, are really great storytellers. They um, tell about their life perspective, uh, the journey with such wisdom. Um, so it was very fascinating to listen to them. And I really like that these uh, interviews and life stories are intersected with the imageries of such a beautiful um, and evoking settings, which I think is Lebanon. Um, yeah, it really gives you a glimpse of, into their daily life. And the final scene the we see uh, is really powerful uh, and a really clever choice. Mm, we see these statues and the, the stories attached to them um, throughout the journey, but we never know who they are representing. And then we see the characters represented uh, at the end uh, in real life. So yeah, that was really that was really powerful, and I really enjoyed watching this. Very very interesting. Fantastic sculpture work, and it was and was and really always is interesting to hear the artist uh, speak about it and their work and and what drives them. Um, yeah, it's just uh, a good ten minute sort of introduction to uh, this gentleman's work and uh, overall just a really um, you know interesting piece for anyone who is uh, even sort of interested in sculpture. I think it was uh, yeah really well put together, an interesting person doing some interesting work. Uh, all in all, I really enjoyed this one. You know, seeing these two guys and their journey was awesome and, and the reason why they did what they did and I thought their statues are just beautiful, and I really liked seeing some of the um, historical figures, the footage of them, and then seeing the statues. So I thought that was a really cool element to this documentary. I thought it was a very detailed, um, as well as showing the details of what they do and how detailed they are in their um, statues like the vein on the hand. Uh, I really like seeing that. I like that they take so much pride in their work. Um, a lot of people, you know, I think don't, well, we don't see that as much uh, nowadays, I don't think. Um, I thought there was good use of music and it was a nice, nice length of documentary for this theme. And again, I like seeing the older footage and um, it was really nice lighting throughout and nice camera work. Uh, nice interviews and pacing and everything and the scene structure and all of that were there. Um, I like how he said through stone, we transition from one era to another. It was really great. So.